guys, what is up, Internet Spurs here, and welcome to just a quick little exploit. I don't know why I didn't do this video at the start of the year, but only now did I really get a real setup going, and I'm just going to show you, you guys remember on FIFA 15, it was so easy to get free money. At the end of the season, you would just go over to transfers, finances, and rebalance your entire thing to a wage budget, so that you have like 2 million wage budget, something like that. Well, yeah, while I think that that might still work a little, you can make so much more than that this year with this new glitch. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Since I really don't feel like playing through an entire career mode right now, I think I'm just going to cut here for now, come back, end of the season, after I just simulate it in the calendar. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, we are back simming through May. Uh, we're just about to finish up the season. Um, you don't obviously have to sim it like this. I'm just doing it because this is not a real career mode, and I'm just showing you how to do this. Okay, we are going to go to our finances, and we're going to make it so that we have one left in transfer budget and the rest in wage budget. As you see, we have about $3 million in wage, so we're going to have to do this with a few players, actually. But you can also just do it with one, depending on whatever your club's financial situation is. You're going to go to your contracts, gonna get a crappy player, this Tahero guy, sure. And then we're going to extend his contract. We're going to go 9, 9, 9. reason I'm not using that million spot is that FIFA does not actually register that million spot. It's very, very strange, but for some reason you cannot offer a player a wage of over 1 million. Or maybe it's only with players that are not like high caliber players or something I don't know but for some reason you just can't so we're gonna offer him that and they generally I don't understand my role of the club why would they care if they're getting a million a week but whatever squad rotation player wonderful offer him that and then we're gonna back out actually we're gonna offer since we still have a ton of wage budget go to our wage week sort to Hero we're negotiating with and then we're gonna go on to Lanart so, this guy wants one more year on 999. Really doesn't matter what he wants in terms of his wage because he's getting a monstrous, monstrous wage. Squad rotation offer. Okay, there we go. Then we would still actually have space for one more. So, he like, didn't want to be. Okay. So, in that case, we're going to go over to Moon Note because the other guy also has a crap ton left. And I think that they'll just automatically reject if they have that much. But yeah, we're going to put this guy on our crazy wage as well. 140. It's a weird wage, but whatever. I'm just trying to get everything that we have invested in players' wages. So yeah, now that we've got that, we head over to our finances. And normalize that's not the correct use of normalize I don't think but whatever we're gonna change what we have to be a more normal switch Isco you want a new wage I'm sorry um that's a lot of messages I'm guessing it's the end of the season so Real Madrid obviously they just gave me a monster oh my god what it, okay as you would expect. Them. But that, I'm not happy with that yet. We're going to go to search players now. Hop on over to the transfer listed players and submit a search. Adama Fofana. Sure. We are going to approach to buy him now. And we are going to do it with the player... See, who did I put on a crazy, crazy... You. Alvaro Tejero. And then we're just going to submit that offer. And we're going to use the transfer glitch as well. You don't have to do this if you wanted this to be a little bit more legit than I do. But you can pretty much put in a ton of transfer offers using the same person. So we're going to also submit Tejero on these. And if all of these go through, I'm going to have Tejero's wage 
two times over, which that is two million wage, which is just an absolute crap ton of money. So, yeah, actually, you don't even need to put that crazy wage on your other people if you don't want. I think you really only need to do it with one. But also, fine, for this guy, I'll put it in on lane art. Um, and then on this guy. But you cannot try to sell. The problem is, is that if you try to sell the people who you put on crazy wages, no teams will buy it because the teams will actually be logical and be like, I don't want to take on that crazy wage. But for some reason, if you trade it, the teams are like, okay, fine. Okay, update from Germany, transfer offer for Isco, I don't care about. Okay, a lot of people said that transfer offer was unacceptable, but in terms of these ones, we got what we wanted, so we're just going to put the players on whatever they ask for, whatever, this is just the demonstration to prove that it even works. Then Leipzig for Abner, we're giving... For Alexander Sorge. Doesn't really matter. So, you know what? Since we're going to make so much more money, I'll fast forward it. Well, still? Really? Really? This Juve one. That's valued. Okay. This Lane Art and 2 million. I'll give you for him. Thank you. Okay, Sorge accepted his contract. Great, so got rid of Abner. Okay. Transfer offer accepted for the one with Lanart. Nice. Wants four years. Sure, give it to him. I don't know what actually happens with the player. I don't know which club actually gets him. I'd actually be curious to find out that. But yeah, I don't know. See, we're on 2 million already for the wage budget, which means that something went through. <laughs> so you can already see things are starting to go, because I was on 1 million for the wage budget before. New signing arriving, you can see there. For now, if we head over to our finances, we see that we have 3 million on the wage budget, which makes it so that instead of having, like, what? What did we have? Like, 87 million. <laughs> 87 million. We're now up to freaking 200, almost 300 million. Really starting to piss me. But yeah, I think that that's a good enough demonstration of just how crazy this could be. All the way up to almost 300 million in total. Uh, just off of doing this, that's an extra 220 million that we made off of doing this glitch. Oh, and look, there are even more. So yeah, sure, I accept you. But see, jumped up another million on the wage budget from that new signing. And then budgets. So that's 330 million in extra 200 and like 50 million right there that we got off of doing this. So you know what? Let's see. Now, is this going to be the way to sign Messi? Hey guys, I am back now just at the end. This is the team that I managed to build with that uh, little glitch right there. This is a team that you can get if you use Real Madrid and go for one season. And you can do the glitch I did to a much further extent even. So you can make a team better than this if that's possible. Which I'm sure it is. You can definitely improve like the bench and whatever. But look at this front three of Bale, Ronaldo, and Messi. That's right, I signed Messi. And he wasn't even that expensive. It was 124 or something for the base signing fee for him. And then his contract, he only wanted, I only gave him like, gave him a million a week. But I probably even could have gone a lot less than that. I just wanted him as soon as possible. And then up top, we have Ronaldo. And then James, Modric. I signed Paul Pogba. I signed David Alaba, still got Sergio Ramos, signed Thiago Silva and Jerome Boateng. 
And another thing that I noticed, if you don't have that much money and you need a temporary world-class center back for like two years, you can sign Thiago Silva for 20 million. That's it. Just 20 million. And I have him on like a two-year contract. He does take up a lot of wage though, about 200 in wage. But if you want to make him your marquee signing, have him for like two years as just an absolute rock at the back of your defense, that works. And then Manuel Neuer. I also signed Sergio Aguero because I had a ton of extra money and nothing to do with it. So I thought may as well, right? So yeah, that is the sort of team that you can pull off by doing this glitch in the second season of career mode. The second season with Real Madrid. But like, even if you use a smaller team, you can probably get like a team maybe like pretty good looking like this. Obviously, this is even a little bit better than it could have been because we still have one, two, three, four, five players who we started with. But we signed Messi, Pogba, Alaba, Silva, Boateng, and Neuer. So you can definitely, even with like a decent team, do like insane things. So yeah, that is it for this video. I think if you liked it, please leave a like. Please share it to help it spread. But don't make it spread too much. We don't want EA finding out about this, do we? But yeah, share it with your friends. If you know anybody who's struggling in career mode to get cash, definitely send this to them. Show them how easy it is to make a ton of money 